Yeah, why not? Yo, yo. Yeah. Yo, 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 everybody. What's going on, Philip? Hi, hi, hi. What's we're gonna going have on? a sh we're gonna have a shorty today because I'm falling asleep right 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 when I'm chatting, yeah. man. Um <laughs> yeah, guys, I hope you can hear us pretty much good because we can yo, hear each other. So if something's wrong with your um, ability to hear us it just, just check your laptop or whatever you're doing uh so we wanted to talk about little news that we have recent news right yeah that's right philip um what's going on everybody in the chat room um i found out today that while digging that i could not find any photos of the civil war of them fighting no fighting scenes. And all the fighting scenes were paintings or illustrations, just like the fake courtroom cases that they have in the States here. You know, it's fake when they give you like a painting, you know, courtroom is, it, you know, it's all staged, it's all bullshit. But it's interesting that we see all these other Civil War photos with the Masons with the hand in the pocket, with the staged cannonballs pyramided up. Um, and we see these and we know they say photography came out like in the 1830s. Everything was invented in the 1830s or built in the 1830s. Um, and we don't we don't see any fighting scenes, man. We don't see any fighting scenes. Yeah, I've seen a bunch of photos with the guys posing and, uh, and I made a video about those weird photos uh, where uh, we, we, we just see stage photos, man. And right. And uh, there's no way we can use them as evidence or debunking uh, our uh, theory or something like this. So it's like they are no use because they are all staged. It's, it's, it's crazy. Um, and also, um, the White House. You know, uh, there's there's no photos of its construction. It's only uh, photos of uh, its reconstruction after it got burned down. It's tar it's a Tartarian building. A year ago, I, I've been talking about it. We only see the, the dome, right? Uh, the construction of the dome, nothing else. So That's it's it. like, it, what it about the rest of the building? City, right? Like we talked about with the it's in a Tartarian city, Nuremberger. So it's like, um, and the, uh, the, the the White House was not built by slaves. So Philip, I hear the story is that we were told as all um, Americans, as all Americans, is that the White House was built on the backs of slave labor. Yeah, we, 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 we right. yeah, they, they're totally right because uh, each and every one of us are slaves. So they are like, you know, definitely right about it. <laughs> yeah. But you know what I'm saying is like, the, yeah, but what I'm saying is that the history is that they're talking about the black slaves in this country, that it was built by them, and that's not the case because we know that these structures was already here. Yeah, we don't. Uh, at least what we can say is that it doesn't match the reality, right? The exactly. reality, because the photographs were uh, invented like in 1816, right? First one, 1820s they were already in use. 1830s right. supposed to be more right. and more and more and more, but we don't have the expansion of this photograph since the 1860s 1870s 1880s when they right. got to actual sales in the stores right and exactly yeah well we got photos that's going back before that supposedly you know 1830s or whatever they say photography came out um it's just all bullshit. we got photos um black and white photos in hd high definition so you know that whole you know Shutter speed, yes, we, I, I get it, but you know they had the technology and photos go back before that. Yeah, let's not just get stuck with this photography uh, evidence. I think we just we just mentioned, and that's okay because it's Absolutely. really a fact. Just debunk it. If you're a critic, debunk uh, what I was showing in my video. Debunk what Absolutely. Richard says. Find us some photos. We have we we seek three types of photos. I need photos of a ball inside the building like a ball in the night like in the evening or whatever where a bunch of people dancing those elite guys in those you know tuxedos or whatever you call them and pretty women with those white dresses 
mm -hmm. all this stuff. Just give me those photos. I want to know how those hallways, where they were dance halls, were uh, illuminated with what. And if there was electricity in 1880s, 1870s, they would have already been illuminated uh, by electric, electric, first electric bulbs or whatever they call them. So they're supposed to be picturing it somehow. I mean, people like to Instagram, people like to, you know, memorize all those events like huge uh, weddings. And I mean, the ball is also a great one because it's huge and people like come around from different uh, counties and provinces and cities, right? Right. Excuse me, Phil. I don't mean to uh, interrupt you, but let me screen share while you're talking. Because I want to show, I'm going to bring up this, uh, I'm going to Google, if you guys out there and you guys sitting in front of a computer, I want you to Google fighting scenes right now. Yeah. It's what? Because if since they know that we know this now, they're going to start flooding the internet with these fake Photoshop fighting scenes. Right now, there are no fighting scenes right now. So let's go. Let's do it together. I want to show it. So so go ahead and, and say what you were saying. I'm, I'm going to. I'm gonna um, take everybody here. Just let yeah, me know if you can just, see what I'm just, saying. Just, just uh, I'm gonna be, you know, presenting you whatever you screen share, and uh, nobody will see what I'm trying to do. Just Google how you Google it. Uh, show me how you, you know, what you, you, did you find? I mean, the, the, those drawings are definitely not the pictures, right? The photos. Right, exactly. Can you see what I'm seeing right now? Phil? Yeah, yeah, yes, of course. It's, it's mind blowing. So we have uh, here. See, we got we got these photos here. All stage, get ready, you know. Mm -hmm. You know, everybody say cheese. You know what I mean? Yep. And we have this, and we, we we don't have any actually fighting. And here we go. So now, so some, uh, you know, jerk off, uh, you know, with a pencil and paper, can just etch this, and, and that's it. But how come we don't have a real? This is all a reenactment stage or a movie. Look at that. It was mind-blowing. I was like, no way, man. I was like, no way. How come our grandparents didn't? You know, put this together, and I'm just, I'm just thinking maybe the lack of information, and uh, maybe the lack of access to this information, because th look, this is all the stage is mind blowing, man. Our reality is not what you think it is. It's all bullshit. They lied about everything. Wait till you find out. To people that's just now new to this channel or new to what we're talking about, wait till you find out the proximity of all um how close really the lands are yeah Phillip, i gotta say they did a number on this philip when sarah palin came out and said i'm from alaska i can see russia from my house we all laughed at her but the reality was she was fucking right yeah i okay. see i see crime air from my house in uh krasnodar district so it's like uh more than 30 kilometers from me so it's not no way i could see it but i see it it's, it's my boy from the beach i mean from the level of the uh, of, of of the sea i'm not talking about uh, getting higher the more higher you get the more far you see right and we know they have photography then they took a lot of pictures so that's not the you know when i brought that up they were like well no it was only lasted for a few years i was like no be quiet they took a lot of pictures supposedly during the civil war okay but you try to tell me um there's not one picture of them fighting get the hell out of here i'm not buying it you know i, I, I stopped taking the, uh, uh the official narrative for the truth a long time ago so, i mean okay, it's, yeah. it's just like the curve you're trying to tell me that we live on a big ass ball and we never went down the ball or up the ball. If we lived on a ball, we would know it, man. We would goddamn know it. Yeah, check you out the, I mean? check check out the pictures of uh, the elites balls in 1900. You you'll never find anyone. I mean, <laughs> yeah, yeah, exactly. Because Look at this. this is a joke, man. Look at this shit, Philip. And I yeah. think that this is extraordinary, man. It's extraordinary, and you can easily prove this shit, man. I've been talking about it uh, to my history teacher uh, when I was, uh, you know, in in the high school of <laughs> the city of Powell, Wyoming, when I was four a year. So uh, in my sophomore class, by the way, all those that think I'm Illuminati tranny shill, you can check out. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> the people from that high school, uh, the uh, 96, 95 <laughs> years, they know me. So, so like, I had hair, you know. <laughs> so. 
Uh, I, I was a boy, <laughs> you know. You know, what, yeah, you know what, Philip? Here's the reality of it: people are going to start. Um, the trolls are going to come up. Yeah. They're trying to do everything they can to make us look stupid and silly, and to divide us and break us apart. You know, I made a post on my Facebook page the other day. I was like, "Well, if you're going to act like a dick and a jerk off in a group, I don't have time to explain to you how to act in a group." You know what I mean? Um, you never know. You may be talking to a moderator or, or an admin. And then you're going to go back and cry about it? Come on, get out of here, man. We're all grownups, man. I don't got no time to that. I don't got no time yeah, to teach, yeah. let's teach not, you how to behave in a group either. Let's, so, not, let's not waste time on this. So I talked to my teacher. Uh, I don't remember his last name. Some, something like, I remember my, my math teacher name, Mr. Kors, but that, that guy I don't remember. So he was like a pretty old one, and he was like a cowboy type of guy. So it's like he had it like uh, all those cowboy jeans with all this cowboy stuff and the cowboy boots and cowboy shirt. So, I mean, but he was a nice guy, and he was like uh, very interested in uh, history by himself because he was a history teacher. And he was, you know, uh, I was a little history nerd at that time, so I like I, I was comparing what we I've heard in Russia to what he's telling me on his lessons. So and like and I was like put my hand up and say, Mister. Uh, whatever history teacher uh in russia we told like this and he's like saying yes he was he's supposed to explain what i'm saying to the audience because other was like whoa what you've been told this i mean this is not real what look what's written in the book we didn't do it like and so there was comparison this crisscross crisscross negative information i mean i was negative on something that uh, u.s history was positive about and so and in the reverse u.s history was negative on what uh, russian history was positive about so i mean this is all this thing all this paradigm was uh he was told me he told me that it was made and created in 19th century even back then in 1995 he told me that so this united western history paradigm was created in 19th century and guess what the russian uh, soviet paradigm was created in 20th century it's even more modern than 19th century uh, western paradigm of history so i mean they supposed to be like you know putting and fitting their stuff inside this western paradigm inside the chinese paradigm and so they stuck each and everywhere so they were researching more than everybody else and they were trying to debunk christian they were yeah. trying to debunk Muslims. They were trying to debunk Nazis. They were trying to debunk all those paradigms that were around Soviet Union. And that's why maybe Russians are more in the history topic than anybody else, because we, they were researching more of this crisscross negative information, trying to put it more positive to Soviet paradigm. Right. And that's why we are so interested in history, in fact, and more people probably are, you know, edu educated in different alternative versions. That's why it came up more from Russia. Maybe that's the only reason that we figured, oh, guys, we have Tartarias on your map. Look, we don't have Tartaria and you have it. And that's where we pointed out. And it worked. But you had it each and every day. You, you were looking at those maps and didn't recognize what the hell is going on. You were thinking, oh, yes. Tartarian, Tartarian, what the hell? And now yeah. they, and now they t telling us it's a psyop, you know? Yes. From I Russia, know. from Russia. Russians figured out that you have it on your maps. Russians yeah. have, well, have it on the on three or five maps. That's it. You have it on each and every map, you know? And right, check this out real quick. Check this out real quick, Philip. You know. What are, these guys are supposed to be a reenactment, man. This was guy you got these dudes. You got these people that live for this shit. And what the fuck are they reenacting, huh? They're reenacting paintings, carvings, fake history. Okay? That's how deep that these people are inside the matrix are. These yeah, guys are lost. I, I'm telling you what they're doing. They're doing it for future generations. They're taking all those pictures ah. that they miss right now. And then they're going to Photoshop it and put ah. them in the further generations like they were like in 1860s. That's it. Right, man. This is what they're doing right now. This shit, Philip. Yes. I can't believe I didn't catch on to this shit a long time ago. This is fucked up. I'm looking, I'm sitting over here like, why can't I find no real photo of fighting scenes? Because I'm really into, I got these books um, uh, about these wars and stuff like that. So I want to see if this, if uh, if I can verify them through, you know, pictures and stuff. And I'm like, what the fuck is going on? I'm like, wait a minute. You know, I was like, oh, this is how they did it. They crafted it. They had a lot of time to design 
these fake wars and this fake reality that we live in and this fake history. Um, and they did it beautifully, um, staged uh, um, these events and then backed it up with movies to enforce the indoctrination. I'm mind blowing what they did to our history and did to our psyche. And then at the same time, beat the, was beating the, beat the divinity out of us. Holy shit. Like, you know, man, this is what you get, man. This is all you get. And a lot of these folks, folks look at this guy. Is this guy giant? Jerry, shout out to Jerry. Um, he sent me, um, he tagged me this one, you know, on my post on Facebook. And I'm like, well, it could be a giant or it could be Photoshop. You know, we know they Photoshop a lot of these photos, like taking off, um, trying to get rid of the Antiquitech, you know what I mean? Off the buildings and shit like that and shit that we would question. And now, just look, look at the guy uh, with the uh, uh, in the left uh, mortier. He has a shadow uh, towards the direction of his beard. It's probably uh, a vertical sh right. sh shadow. And the guy on the right, also on the same mortier, look, he is probably at the same place, but he has what? The shadow goes to his. Uh, uh, right uh, shoulder. The guy in the back, in the center, has shadow also straight, but more to the left. So it's like Photoshop, guys. I yeah, mean, man, it's crazy, man. You can't have uh, three types of shadows on the same type of pose right. of the person, you know. That's all you get, man. You get these drawings, man. These composites. I mean, uh, remember we were watching uh, yesterday the um, MiG-29, so-called MiG-29 flight above uh, <laughs> whatever, uh, the green screen that they supposed to be above. Right. <laughs> and I'm going to say, like, they put the camera on the side so we won't see this, you know, effect of upturning curvature. And so they can say, well, there was an upturning curvature because it was on the side. So you cannot, like, debunk that it was a fisheye lens. And that's it's the only reason that why they do it from the side. So it's like, and the shadow is totally different when they move the plane. And this is how you can compare those people opposing. And some of those pictures are totally, you know, Photoshop and composed from the different pictures. Yeah, what is it? This is a dude, man. It's a man. Because I've been seeing a lot of uh, these uh, these um, old photos, man, with like, we know this androgynous. And this transgender thing is going on way longer than most people think. And it's a man or is this a woman? No, it's just uh, uh, they they can explain it whatever, man. So it's yeah, like exactly, man. So, uh, you know, we we we, 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 just, we we don't have to waste our time. You know, uh, they got so many pictures of this bullshit. I've been showing those pictures, those rare pictures, so called rare <laughs> pictures. And when you look at those rare pictures, eighty percent of them are this just stupid pictures that doesn't show anything. You know no historical uh, evidence historical you know price no historical price at all right i mean think about what these soldiers were doing what these soldiers they just try to get i think the only job they had to do was to kill off the remaining tartarians the, the remaining uh, what they call indians native americans i mean what they do with it i mean they just round up these people you know i mean here we got like a an ad to join the army you know no, I'll tell you what they're hiding from us. I mean, they're not hiding that it was a war. Probably it was some type of civil war. That's why they call it this way. So it would be fine to all the survivors, all the people. But it was a staged civil war. Not as, uh, you know, as, as, as scaled as they tell us. It was maybe in some places, some, south, some staged events, some battles, as they tell us. But... The veterans from those battles were the agents to spread the misinformation after the battles. So those who survived, those who were not sacrificed by their generals, were committed to spread the misinformation and further reality. And the larger scale was never shown to a single unit. I mean, the single unit is inside the unit. You cannot leave the unit. You cannot, you know, deserteer or something like this. You cannot escape. You've been told what to do by your captain, by your major, by your colonel, by your general, and so on. So if you are staged in a staged event, you cannot escape it only through the death. And they sacrifice you if they want. They let you leave, and you become an agent, 
and that's that's the work how it works that's the technology and i'm probably thinking they did it the same in world war one world war two i mean just the sacrifice just yes. the just the you know useless sacrifice useless sacrifice of many many people in all those yes. staged composed events blood 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 just to stay in power yeah. it's a sacrifice right and we're not we're not finding out that they didn't bring a whole bunch of uh, thousands of uh, uh uh black people on, on slave boats and bring, well, it's all bullshit, man yeah i've it's been i've been people. talking about it like uh, look what we have right now in ukraine about really? like ten thousand people deceased but like in 50 years they can say it was like a million or maybe 10 million or maybe they you know already eaten all those people and now then they can erase erase the the uh, the, the numbers after the wars so-called wars and they tell the rest oh they were dying in the wars so don't bother at all yeah don't bother all those six millions in paris don't bother the the, the cuban and uh, skeletons uh, and skulls that were like in large numbers don't bother like they were just you know taken you from know the what, graves you know it's crazy philip you know I, i'm looking at this deception here it seems like we, we're, we're so easily deceived by illustrations and photos i mean think about it people think they live on a spinning ball because from a photo, from a uh, from a fake uh, composite, uh, 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 something artificial, and and everything that people just believe. For us, why that's how they did it, and because people would see these, be like, oh, okay, this happened, and then they make reenactments and they make movies, and you know they do stuff like this. Okay, ready, everybody, ready, get it together. One, two, three, say cheese, everybody. Like, what are yeah, you doing? I mean, when you have a war, you have people that are dirty, that are, have, uh, you know, vowns, all those, you know, tapes on their hands, and maybe somebody's... Uh, look what they're showing us in the movies. That's more real than what, what you see right now, right? This right. is all staged. In right. the movies, we see, this is painted because, you know, the painting, you can paint whatever, but the, right. I mean, I'm talking about... Painted the reality. Yeah. That's what we're talking about. They painted our reality, man. Yeah, I mean, what I'm trying to say is that they show more real stuff in the movies than what we see on those pictures, because those pictures are definitely staged. I can I can tell you what the war is. I can show you the, the actual footage from the war, and you can see people are dirty. People are, you know, uh, very, very, you know, tired. They smoking. They like, you know, they they drinking. Look at those people. They just standing. Standing. Oh, hell. And they're all clean and stuff. Look at it. They're right. clean and polished. Right. Work. Just stay to reality, man. Like, that's what I'm saying. So you're trying to tell me, so all you people out there talking about, oh, um, that we're on some other shit or, you know, we're just talking a bunch of shit or we're just making shit up. You're trying to tell me they can make photos like this, but they can't, we can't see a fighting scene where somebody's getting chopped off, their head chopped off or something. Come on, we're at war. Oh, blown up come on man they dropped the ball man they didn't think about this that's how they got us man because we was not paying attention it's very expensive to picture something like what you say i mean you have to stage all those people you have to put cannons you have to put cavalry you have to put all this smoke and immediately uh, take a picture so it's like very uh, very expensive but these, you see these people right here? These people believe in their hearts that that event happened, that this event happened. Because they of the angel. They will kill you. Agents, to, uh, agents, man. The veterans. The veterans. They were agents. Those who were not sacrificed, they were agents. And they spread the misinformation when they got home. And most of the people, you know, you know the Western frontier that happened immediately after the Civil War. All the people from the Civil War are supposed to be, you know, uh, conquering the West. So most of them died during the, uh, you know, Wild Wild West thing. So it's like they were erased, all those evidence, all those, uh, you know, how do you call it, witnesses from the Civil War. They were, you know, all erased in the West. Wow. 
People sleep, man. And that's how they tell us all this bullshit. You know? <sighs> they didn't have any money at that period of time. Before the Civil War, the money was made by private banks in each and every uh, county, each and every town. Each and every bank could have made a $20 bill, you know. Yes. That, you know means, that means only one thing. Really, they had a civil war and it, they had it. They had it. But it was, you know, misinterpreted. The goal was misinterpreted. The purpose right. was misinterpreted. It was just the conquest of those remainings of Tartarians, as you read. Of those yeah. that had influence of Tartaria. They, uh, those kingdoms of Florida, the kingdom of New England. It was all misinterpreted by the history. Yes. Yes. The people were living, the people were building all those splendid houses. And yeah. then they got lost. They got lost in this direction because the central of empire was defeated. Well, that makes sense. That the, the reset makes sense, man. Yeah. The reset makes sense why people have amnesia, um, lost their history, and how it was effectively erased from our conscience and our minds throughout time and how the takeover was taken over because of that reset. Um, and that's how I explain, that would explain why Tartaria is not in control right now um, is because of uh, it was taken over because either an event happened that was man-made or something that happened that was unnatural or natural. We don't know. Could have been that our ancients were so goddamn advanced that we're finding out that people can't even fathom right now. Did they try to get out of this place by making uh, uh, some type of weapon that vibrated the, the you know, the out the, the 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 outside closure of this place that that um that just made created so much damn mud that it wiped out half the world. You know, who knows? I mean, who knows? Was it was it a weapon invented that uh, that they just put out that they was been spending years making? Um, was able just to point. Um, uh, because some some of these places, there's no evidence of uh, of a mud flood, and there's other there's there's most of the world that is. So yeah, I mean, yeah, you know what I, I mean. So, I know. think the the connection is Star Wars. I've been talking about this yesterday mm. when we're supposed to have a show. I've been showing the connection of fracking and all this stuff. Remember, I've been showing you the Pennsylvania uh, place that was exactly looking in the form of a star shaped. Uh, right. And it's a fracking. So it's like, I mean, uh, I think the Empire of Ross was using the, the gas. All, 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 all the places that were connected to the water were using the gas. And probably some other uh, people were sending me a bunch of um, uh, maps of these uh, resources. And I'm finishing this series right now. So I think the connection is actually mining. And mining connects us to what? That there were great the technologies. And what are they doing right now? They're just showing us uh, some war. Right. They, could, they couldn't not even been performed like this. Maybe they had another weapons. Maybe they were just, you know, killed. Who knows? Maybe somebody had guns and somebody doesn't didn't even have guns. Who knows? And uh, this is the massacre they don't want to show us. I mean, or like I don't think all these people was actually even here. Um, do, why do you think they opened up Ellis Island later on and was able to, you know, you know, invite all these people? I don't even think they had all these people. I mean, I mean, prove me wrong. I mean, I think they really. Yeah, and yeah, yeah. You exactly, exactly, because right. they, they didn't have it on a large scale as they tell us. It was simply staged events in each and every battle, but the rest of the people were just normally working, you know, paying taxes and taking deals and stuff like this. Just some of the people were fighting. And that some people were, you know, uh, made, they made them to become agents of this information. And then they erased them also in the West. So most of those people just were erased. And th that's the only way they can, could hide, hide the real events. You know, right. what really happened is just the takeover over those who were controlled by Tartarians. They took yeah. over the taxes. They took over the uh, money. Yeah. They established their own money. And that's why we see the money coming from Lincoln. And this is where the money goes. Follow the money. So started immediately making their own money. 
And then we have what we have. Right. They had, us, right. they had to give us this fake history. Yeah. This, I mean, it's fake uh, paradigm. Um, and they did it again in 1913 when they established Federal Reserve because next year they started the war, World War One. You know, this is exactly the same thing. And look again, the uh, Jamaican system or uh, the system of uh, Bretton Woods system, right? It was exactly it during the World War Two. Also, the change of paradigm, the change of dollar, change of this currency. And this is why they do it, because it's the period when they switch, switch the paradigm. And maybe they can do it right now, switching to cryptocurrency and also making some crypto war. You know, that's why they're talking about make an attack in digital, make an attack, on hacker attack, Russian collusion, all this bullshit that they come up with is just for one thing to establish slavery in the Internet shut down the freedom of speech in the internet and just you know can totally control us via our devices our cameras all this stuff is free right now just because they didn't control us before and they they can they can do it right now because digital economy is on on the uh, on the door <laughs> behind the door knocking on the door digital economy is here guys absolutely absolutely and you know what philip shout out to the chat room and guys in the chat room share this man because we're having a dope conversation here we're actually talking about some real shit here yeah um, guys so we're missing pictures of uh the battles actual battles during the civil war i mean not the pictures the photo pictures yeah uh, also what we're missing is the pictures of the ball the elites balls elites in the ballroom in the whole room or uh, in the dance room whatever you call it and the one pictures I actually miss is the picture of the winter. We don't have any pictures of the winter. <laughs> I mean, no pictures before 19th century. Only in 19th century, we started to have pictures of people uh, outside in the winter clothes. Before that, nothing. And guess what? I got a picture to show. Just screen Can't share. Oh, yeah, just screen share. Uh, I'll find it and then I screen share. Okay. Just a nice picture of a map. I mean, I saw your map that you were showing in your book. Oh, yeah, you like that one, right? Yeah, yeah man. You can show it right now and I'll show my map after that. Okay. Uh, let's see where it is. Amazing, guys. It's amazing out there, man. Amazing, man. If you have any questions too in the chat room, um, um, submit them um because this right here is mind-blowing i was just like mind-blowing man keep them you know because you know we're diggers man that's what i do i dig man i'm digging I'm like wow I'm trying to connect some dots for people and for myself and it's just crazy i was always fascinated about history that we were taught come to find out it's all bullshit. so i'm spending so much time relearning everything and trying to get a you know a understanding because nothing else is more important to do except for be the best person you could be man you know that's why i say people get wrong with me man then you got wrong if, if i deleted you out of my life or blocked you then you deserved it because yeah. I'm, one of the, I'm, I'm one of the coolest people anybody could actually meet you know what i mean i'm a real dude um can and I, I just can i so speak sure richard absolutely go go ahead do you think boss Do you see what I'm showing? Um, no, not yet. What about now? Uh, yes. Yes? Yes, I can. Sorry, I was in a different page. Uh, so we had some pictures in my Instagram. Ah, this one is cool. Uh, the the picture actual uh, painting inside the Hermitage uh, in uh, it's a Winter Palace, the, the famous Winter Palace in Saint Petersburg. Also has Griffin in original painting on the wall. Look at this. Nice. Um, and this is the map. Actually, yes, that's the map. Yes, that, that's, the map. That, that's that's your map probably. That's what you were showing. Yeah, the one I posted. Um... And that's the map I was wanted to uh, show. Like, look at this, how Tartaria is pictured. 
Yes. Forests, uh, fields, hills, all this okay. green, nothing like snow or something. And look at it right now. It's all frozen. Oh, yeah. That's what, that's what, that why I, I, I go to that boiler room theory, man. Like they've, you know, they found out where the boiler room's at and they're controlling it. Or they found our technology because we know they have technology that we have no idea that they have. And that's, you know, we have, we're, we're clueless. And they had it for a long time. What if they had the technology to keep this place at a certain temperature? Um, so we don't know. I mean, I mean, so, I mean, so, I mean yeah. we're really missing the pictures. In, I mean, the paintings of the people uh, in the winter clothes and in the winter, uh, you know, landscape, weather, right. whatever, snow, and something. Since uh, before the 19th century, there's no pictures of winter at all. Wow. And that means that we are right on the date. So event totally happened in 19th century. Wow. This is where it got changed. Everything was changed before the 1850s, 1860s. That's when the reset started. Right? Yeah. And I was trying to, you know, uh, zoom in. So also very interesting place yizo there's no yeah. island like this yeah. anymore but we yeah. have japan here and probably this is the northern part of japan and the uh russian cycling right now so i mean uh, have you seen those uh, pictures of of japan uh megalithic structures and stuff like this that i've been showing so probably Oh yes, yes, the megalith structures of oh yes, I'm yeah, all, all those huge, huge yeah. structures in Japan. Yes. I mean, whole and, bunch and of water too. So yes, could have been a race of giants, or you know, there, you know, yeah, or, pro probably something. Or, look at this, Yezo, yeah. Meako, all those countries that we don't know. Korea, China here, but Meako and Yezo, what the hell is that? So probably this is uh, the fame, uh, so-called an an. Uh, how do you call it? An anis right now. Those people that look half uh, Caucasian, half uh, Japanese, with those beards. Mm -hmm. You know those pictures that the real inhabitants and, of Japan. And also too is also too is Philip. You see right here. You see the Tartarian Wall, right? Yeah, it looks. Right, uh, so you know that Muro de China. It's called so, that map, de... so this map is. I can. I can tell you right now. This map is after the 1600s. Okay, because anything before the 1600s, the the wall was not built into the 1600s. So this is after the 1600s. So because there's other maps where we have the walls not even on there. Um. So uh, that's how I found out, and it was the, the the wall of Tartary. That's actually the name of it. Um. And when Tartaria fell, of course, the Chinese was like, okay, well, we'll just call Great Wall China to, you know, to make to, the Chinese look great. Some, somebody wrote here, Tartaria, China. Yes. So, I China. mean, I mean, I mean. China's ancient Tartaria. I mean. India, ancient Tartaria. You got people that are Indians I went up to, right? These guys are straight from India. I was like, yo, have you ever heard of Tartaria? What? They're like, huh? They don't even know, man. That's how effectively these guys think about it. The the British took over India, okay? They quickly, when Tartaria, they quickly took over India. They had to, okay? Those it's guys was no joke. Those guys was warriors, and they had to invade India first. It's supposed to be right in Russia here or something, but not nothing like this. So it's like all of this is Tartaria. Mm -hmm. Yeah. So this oh, yeah. is what I was trying to show. So you 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 said you have a lack of time. Maybe some more questions, yeah. and we will stop. Well, yeah, let's answer. Um, well, yeah, we can get into the whole White House thing. I mean, later on, I got to do some things, and uh, I know you're tired, but definitely. Um, I'm, I'm, you, you, st you still screen sharing, in fact. Am I? I'm <laughs> yes. Sorry. I don't know. <laughs> oh, he came back. Okay. Yes. Um, so, guys, this is the problem that we put up today. I think it's a great problem, a very, very interesting topic. I mean, we already have the coincidence 
of the mud flooded buildings we already have the coincidence of uh, all anomaly in money we already ha have a uh, anomaly in pictures in photo pictures like richard been saying plenty of topics are missing with the evidence like construction like civil war like dancing in the huge balls huge meetings of people lack of, lack of people on the panoramic screen uh, uh, panoramic pictures of uh, different cities like moscow new york chicago london and the lack of people on the streets of course this is also the problem and the stage pictures stage pictures that we see each and everywhere uh, 80 percent of the pictures are staged and they don't show any historical uh, price uh, evidence or something so the resolution is that highly likely like they like to say right now highly likely it's all fake yeah yeah man it's just more evidence fill up that our reality is staged all of our history is fake everything they said about what this place is is fake and um so share this because you know you may not can you know convince people to look into the flat earth um because you know that's you know they just can't deal with that they they never went down a ball up a ball seen a boat with their own eyes go down a ball up a ball but they can't get that but you know if you show them this they, you know they, they can see well wow you know and this would get them to look at history and then they'll actually see um the other bigger deceptions as well yeah i mean the hole gets deep philip and i think people i'm not afraid to go and dig and look and find out um because like I like I said, I tell people before, history is not hidden anymore. Um, it's just people hiding the history. So you gotta dig, you gotta find out, you gotta question everything. And I'm looking forward for your road trip to uh, Philadelphia and New York. Yes, I'm definitely gonna plan on doing that um, for the summer this year, I'm gonna do that. Um, because there's overwhelming evidence of mud flood um, and Tartarian cities, man. Philadelphia and New York are big Tartarian cities, man. Big Tartarian cities, man. Mind blowing. Mind let's, blowing. let's just stick stick right now. Uh, for, they 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 had it. So uh, they had it erased. They had it rebuilt, and we have to find those little hints, those little coincidental evidence that they still uh, that that we still can find before they erased. It totally because they are doing it each and every day on a daily job look at what they're doing they're yeah. faking all this stuff and they already changing the paradigm in history they're already changing the names yeah. they're already changing the ideas of, yes. of, of, of the stuff that happened 20 years ago that's right they would have you wanting to go to mars to be in a dome farming potatoes man from straight up man straight up yeah thanks so Thanks a lot for joining us today, guys, and uh, hope we. I'm gonna be fine tomorrow and have a chat uh, soon. Uh, next one with Victor Buggy. Uh, he wanted to chat. Yeah, and yeah maybe. He's a cool dude. I like Victor. He's a cool dude. Yeah, maybe somebody else will join I, me this week. Well, I'm gonna I'm gonna head over to Flat Earth British right now. I was over there before you call, and uh, he's got some extraordinary uh, stuff going on. So anybody in the chat, go ahead and. Head over to Flatter British and uh, yeah, yeah. Go ahead and join me. All right, everybody to Flatter British. Say hi All to right. Martin. <laughs> See you later, guys.